Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim and U.S. President Joe Biden hold a phone call in regards to Gaza. Qatar Red Crescent and the UNHCR launch an initiative to provide health care to Yemeni refugees. And finally, the UN names an outgoing Dutch Minister Humanitarian Coordinator for Gaza. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and U.S. President Joe Biden held a phone call on Tuesday to discuss the latest developments in Gaza. The need to release hostages as well as boost humanitarian humanitarian aid to the besieged strip were high on the agenda of the call. The two leaders also discussed ways in which a permanent ceasefire could be reached in the current deadly war on Gaza. Now, the Qatar Red Crescent Society, in cooperation with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, are carrying out a project to enhance health care for Yemeni refugees. The project target aims to reach 50,630 refugees with the annual budget for the project coming in at just over 5 million rials. The co-funded project will see infrastructure upgrades at two health facilities in Sana'a, as well as improvements to healthcare departments and private medical centers. And finally, the United Nations has named Sigrid Kag, a Dutch minister, as its humanitarian coordinator for Gaza. This comes after the watered-down Security Council resolution, which called for aid to be delivered to the Gaza Strip at scale. Kag will establish a mechanism to accelerate humanitarian relief consignments to Gaza through states not party to the conflict. She will be appointed to her position on January 8, 2024. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.